Hey, it's Hungry Vegan. Today I'm going to do um, a pizza that I've made before, but I'm just going to make a variation of it today just for my tea. So, yeah, it's only going to be a quick video. Sorry about the washing machine. So, this is it, really simple. Just got the um, ready made rolled pizza dough base thing. Just roll it out with paper, just be careful just to keep it nice and flat. Like so. And because this doesn't quite fit, I'm just going to stretch it out a little bit. That fits better now. Okay, so I've just got half a jar of sauce from the last time I made it. So I'm just going to spike this sauce up a bit. I'm just going to add a little bit of black pepper to it. Like quarter teaspoon so it's nice to get the black pepper in there and I'm going to add a big clove of garlic in fact I'm going to put two big cloves of garlic in because I've got them out now just put them into your crusher squeeze them just into the jar these jars are really handy if you've got them half empty or whatever, you can just chuck everything in and mix them up, save a bit of washing. That's quite a lot of garlic, so you probably want to use half that amount if you're not big into your flavours. So I'm just going to put some holes in this so it doesn't puff up. You don't have to be gentle with it though guys, it looks after itself. So I'm just going to pop this sauce on here. So that I'm going to add a little bit of oregano. I'm just going to put a few frozen veggies I've got on there, some onions and peppers. These are frozen so I'm just going to spread them out quite liberally because if you, if you don't spread them out they're not going to cook. Okay, next I'm going to go on with some just grated mozzarella. I'm going to use about half a pack, about 100 grams. On top of that, I'm just going to use some kale that I washed. I normally use spinach, but this kale was on special offer, so why not? Now I'm just going to go on with some little bit of salt. This is a bit unusual, but with, with spinach you don't need salt so much, but with kale, I think you do. So that's going to go in the oven now for about 12 to 13 minutes. Now it's going on a 180 fan, so it isn't as hot as like I'd normally do. But because it's got frozen veg on there, I'm just giving it a bit more of a chance. So be right back. Okay, so this is it. Look, kale crisps pizza. Really good.